up? Welcome to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a thirsty Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Plowing through another week of summer. It is so hot. Our AC can barely keep up, man. And it's a brand new unit. That's what she said. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We got hit with some Saharan dust last weekend. The entire state of Florida did, so. Nose has been a little itchy lately. That stuff actually is can be part of what causes hurricanes, FYI. Anyway, uh, this is supposed to be a really heavy hurricane season. We've, got, we've had one so far. It's almost the end of July. The bad ones usually come in like September, October. But anyway, people don't know what they're talking about. Uh, let's get into some Buckeye football and out of the weather. We're continuing our condition of the position series talking linebackers today. We're almost done with the defense. We did the offense over the last couple of weeks, sprinkled in here and there. So check it out. Um, And uh, I'm going to continue my Joe's hot takes series. So hopefully you enjoyed the Will Howard hot take show from last week. Check it out. I think I'll try and crank out one or two of those every week as uh, we lead up to the season. And who doesn't love a hot take? Or a hot cake with butter and syrup. Hell yeah. Sign me up. All right. So let's talk linebackers here. We're going to talk about going into 2024 and then after 2024, 25, and and so on. So on the roster, you got Cody Simon going into his last year. Court Williams magically has two more years. Uh, Must be due to all the injuries in COVID season, but um, not sure what we can expect from Court. Uh, CJ Hicks, two seasons. Sonny Styles, two seasons. Gabe Powers, three, Uh, Arvell Reese, three, Peyton Pierce and Garrett Stover, both four seasons. They are the true freshmen in this 2024 class. Now, returning production with uh, Tommy and Steele both gone off to the NFL, only 30% of the tackles are are coming back. 55.6% of TFLs, zero sacks are returning. Uh, But these numbers do not include uh, Sonny's stats as a safety last year. He was, you know, he played safety all 2023. Uh, He had 53 tackles, four and a half TFLs, two sacks at safety. So uh, we're going to talk some uh, recruiting at the end. But uh, so far, we got uh, Riley Pettijohn, Tarvis Alford, and Eli Lee signed up for the 2025 class. Very strong class for first-year guy, Laronitis. Um, so looking at 2024 for two seasons, the linebacker snaps were dominated by Tommy Eichenberg and steel chambers. Now they accounted for 77% of the snaps in 2022 and 2023. So that means nobody else got on the field. Really? They're both off to the NFL. So the Buckeye linebacker room is going to go, go through a major change in the middle of the defense. Uh, luckily, the position does have some experience. Uh, Cody Simon is back for his fifth season. He had his best year of his career last year. Uh, he had more snaps as both a, a rotational linebacker and a part-time starter for Eichenberg when he was injured. Uh, Simon uh, was Ohio State's best linebacker in 2023, according to the PFF grades. He ranked 22nd among 186 power conference linebackers who had more than 300 snaps. Um with Simon in the middle, of the Buckeyes have at least one reliable and experienced linebacker. Uh, the question is, who lines up next to him, right? Um, so it's time for third-year linebacker C.J. Hicks to take on a meaningful role. Uh, according to the coaches, he had a strong spring. Love to hear that. Then uh, he's the former five-star prospect, you know, with all the athletic tools. But he's played under 100 defensive snaps so far. He's still an unknown, you know, um, we haven't really seen enough to to know what he is and what he brings. Hicks is one of the three at the position with Simon and Sonny Styles. Styles making the move from safety to linebacker we talked about. Um, this move is was going to happen eventually anyway. Uh, with Sonny's physical development, most of his safety snaps were down near the line of scrimmage anyway. His 2023 PFF run grade ranked eighth among 144 power conference safeties who played at least 500 snaps last year. That's good news because more than 40% of his snaps 
were down in the box or near the line of scrimmage. Uh, now, who takes the Will linebacker spot is the position battle we're watching. Hicks or Styles, both will play regardless, but what we don't know is how much they will play together in like three linebacker sets. The ability to play both on the edge will let Jim Knowles get creative where with where the linebackers line up, right? So the good news is that this group, they are the most athletic group of Ohio State linebackers we've had in years. Uh, plus third-year guy Gabe Powers, second-year guy Arvell Reese add to the mix. Reese could be a pass rush threat, so we could use him as possible an edge rusher uh, or mix him in if they're going to run the jack position. Who knows? How will first-year full-time position coach James Laronitis manage his personnel is a big question, too. Um, Knowles didn't really rotate the linebackers much. He stuck with his starters, and that was it. Uh, Laronitis said uh, he wants to play four or more if they can handle the workload. Now, looking beyond 2024, Hicks and Styles are your highest level athletes. Um, so there's a chance both are good enough in their first years as starters that they can leave for the NFL after 2024. It's possible, small chance, but it's there. Um, how that plays out will let us will help us determine long term how this room looks and the depth. Um, so assume most likely they'll return for 2025 season. That gives OSU two strong starting options at linebacker. Then the Buckeyes will be in a great situation with Powers and Reese at the top of the room. And it's crucial to get uh, Gabe Powers and Arvell Reese some more experience this season while keeping the future in the back of your mind, you know. And, and you know, we need to see what they are. They're really unknown commodities right now, too. So get them on the field this year gives you an idea of what we can expect next year. Um, then you also got the current freshmen, Peyton Pierce and Garrett Stover. They can contribute with some, some poss possible special team snaps. Uh, they'll probably need to develop for their first two years, like get up to speed with the college game, you know, get, uh, get in the weight room. And uh, they gradually can build up to meaningful roles. But if Hicks or Styles turns pro after this season, Pierce and Stover will definitely need to develop more quickly. Um, they could also feel some pressure from this 2025 linebacker class that Lauren Nines has brought in. Uh, he has drastically changed the recruiting expectations for that group. Um, the Buckeyes have three linebackers committed in 2025. All are four-star prospects. Riley Pettijohn from Texas is the number one inside linebacker in the class. Tarvis Alford from Florida is the number eight outside linebacker. And Eli Lee from in-state Akron Hoban, he is a top 200 overall player and number nine inside linebacker. So it's a really strong group for, for Laurinaitis in his first swing at recruiting, but uh, he will also keep going after in-state four-star prospect Justin Hill. Uh, he's the outside edge linebacker guy, uh, would play the jack position if we – ran it ever <laughs> he's currently committed to bama by the way so with or without justin hill uh this is a great recruiting class for laronitis his room has a ton of athleticism and potential uh, in a short time he has shown he can restock the room going forward so uh, high expectations from the recruiting point of view in my opinion i i mean look at what he did with this 25 class so He's got to do the same with 26 and, and beyond. So um, I'm curious to see how he continues this and and uh, if he can keep bringing in four high four stars and and borderline five stars into this room. So it's going to be interesting. And then, again, going back to how is he going to manage the personnel here in 2024? How many guys can get on the field? Is it four? Is it less? You know, that's that's going to be key. So that is the linebacker room. So got corners and safeties to go, and then we're uh, we're done with our condition of the position. We'll start talking two deeps and uh, position battles going into the fall camp, and that'll be gearing up in about a week. So that's all I got for you today. Please hit the BuckeyeCast.com. Please hit like on this video if you're listening on podcasts. Please uh, subscribe, follow, and um, leave a review. That'd be awesome. That's all I got for you today. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.